Uh, I think the question is wrong in our panel because it's not how to monetize social media, it's how to monetize media. That's the question because social media is part of our media. Uh, you know that uh, advertising is vanishing, even the most hyper-local media have, is facing problems with Google Ads and with Facebook. Uh, you know that selling of newspaper is declining, so both our main uh, sources of income are in danger. How much danger, although? Uh, I want to be clear. Uh, what we have learned in the past from other industries in transition from legacy industry to digital industry is that the middleware disappears or become irrelevant. So uh, the question we must face now is, can media disappear? And my only honest answer must be, of course, Yes, can disappear. Why not? Uh, give me one real reason, not wishful thinking, on why we should be the only market where middleware exists. That I think it's, it's, not, uh, it's not possible to avoid this possibility. And uh, in my opinion, the only way to keep media alive is to fight. And to fight for producing the better journalism, but especially for producing the better information we can and serve it to our readers. If not, if we don't do that, our readers just will search for it and will find it anywhere. Not in the traditional media, not even in the digital media, not in the media at all, but in the Facebook, in the everywhere. I think that uh, we must stop playing with words. We, we play a lot with words, and, and this morning we were playing a lot also with words. Social media is our time media. It, it, it is not something, uh, it, it is not us and them. We are also social media. Social media is nothing that is a part of us. Social media today is a, a container, a place where you can find mainstream media, when you can find, find also people chatting, when, where you can find Pierre, where you can find a lot of things. But we are part of the social media. It's not us and them. We are also social media. And the way we use social media is absolutely relevant for the way we monetize our companies, because we cannot think ourselves outside the social media. To me, it's not, the, the, it's not relevant how much money we get from Facebook or from Twitter. The question is, if we are not in Facebook or in Twitter or in other uh, uh, platforms, we are out of business. It's so easy uh, as this. So I want to share with you four tips, four tips on what to do in this scenario based in our uh, background. First, we all are pages of the uh, a virtual and global newspaper. You name it, uh, Twitter. When I wake up in the morning, I check the Twitter, and I, I, I see in the Twitter headlines from professional media, things that are written by bloggers, things that are just uh, chatting, people doing, uh, speaking about anything. But we all are part of the same virtual global newspaper. And uh, that is the way that we must work. We can't fight against that. We must use that. Second, don't try to imitate legacy media. This is the quickest way to hell. We, can, we can't do what the New York Times did 20 years ago or what uh, Al Jazeera did 10 years ago. Instead, focus in creating something original, something that position your page in this global virtual newspaper. Third, we are brands, we are not products. So we need to reach our audience using any tool available, and our own website is one of these tools, but not the tool, no longer the tool. In 95, when we started our newspaper, <coughs> of course, BilaWeb.cat was our tool. Today is not. Today is one of our tools. We need to reach our readers using every platform available. And by the way, sometimes that means that even 
the journalists are mediate himself. I always, I'm surprised, but I assume now that I have more followers on my Twitter account than in the newspaper account. Is this stupid? I don't know, but it is happening, and I'm not the only one that is dealing with that. So probably we, the journalists, as individuals, we are becoming also tools, new channels for our own newspapers. And fourth, live media is not only about news, it's mainly about interaction. Uh, we have great pieces of software available that help us a lot to understand what our readers are doing with our newspaper, and we must use it. We must use it because we can serve better our readers, uh, understanding what they are searching for, what they want, what they are actually read reading. And if we use that, we can provide them with better information and so have a better platform also for them. You might, uh, you might answer that this is a fussy scenario, that it's probably the scenario that uh, most uh, old newspapers are afraid of, and my answer is yes. Uh, this is a fussy scenario, it's not the best, uh, uh, it's not the paradise for us, but this is real. And in my opinion, the only way we have to find, again, uh, a future for media is just to come back to our foundations and realize, because that was our foundations, that journalism is a way to serve our community more than a business. If we don't understand that, we are going in the wrong direction. And probably by the time we thought that we were more a business than an instrument for our communities, we start the process that is uh, uh, today being so clear of uh, facing these so much problems. That apply also for the way we get money. Maybe, maybe, and we are working on that from, from some months ago, the more secure way to the future is to rely on our community of readers and to ask them for support our project. There is a new uh, development taking place in the United States, also here in Europe, to try to identify media as a non-profit and try to move from companies, we are a company now, from companies to a different ownership that help people to realize that media is a central part of the community, serving the community. If we can do that, we will be stronger than ever. If we can do that, if we decide to, move, to follow the path that we are uh, walking the last years, advertising will shrink, uh, people is, uh, will, will buy less and less newspaper and maybe we will run out of money. So instead of that, I think we, we have a chance to define ourselves again. And that definition involves absolutely social media. Social media is the key concept in the next uh, years. Involves social media, involves how to get money using not only the social media, but the all all the all media at all, and asking the people to support our independence. I remember a lot of time ago, I heard, uh, I think it was Norman Myler, that when uh, he was asked about the New York Times, he said that a great newspaper is a national dialogue. Okay, I think our only future is that. We are the places for the dialogue. I don't know national, what it stands for, everyone can fit it, not, not with states or regions or cities, but also with uh, things that love music, things that love uh, rap, things that love sport. Your nation could be a lot of different nations, but only if we understand that, we will have a future. I'm, I, I'm sure of that, and maybe in the debate I can elaborate a little more about this.